Hello everyone, I am Dr. Tanmay Vishash. I welcome you all in my channel Tanmay Game. Today's topic of discussion is on MCQ and the question is in front of you. What is the major product of this reaction? I request everyone, please pause the video, try by yourself and whatever answer you get, please write in the comment box along with few words as explanation. I believe we have tried, so let's start. Student, so it's a very interesting MCQ. It's very easy, but very interesting. Lots of understanding and knowledge you'll have it from this video. Now, if you look at this reaction, so this is your starting material. It has two functional group. One is this alkene, another is this alcohol. And reaction takes place with Br in CH2Cl2 means it's called dichloromethane or DCM. It is acting here as solvent. Now, question. So, two types of functional group exist, alkene versus OH. Which one will react with bromine? Obviously, alkene. Why? Because remember, oxygen electronegative atom, bromine electronegative atom bond is not that much stronger. Second point. Then how this alkene will react with bromine? Remember, alkenes, they have a pi bond. Pi bonds are made by parallel or sidewise overlap of this p orbital. So it is not that much stronger compared to sigma bond because in this case, the electron density remains in between these two lobes. But in case of sigma bond, the electron density remains exactly in between the two nucleus. So from that point, you can say, okay, the electron density is strongly attracted by the two nucleus, so more stable. So that's the reason why pi bond reacts and results in a sigma bond. We have observed that, okay, addition reaction on alkene resulted in alkene like that. Now here, if you look at it, it's a bromine. Bromine means Br, Br single bond. And generally, if you look at bromine, these molecule have induced dipole, induced dipole interaction. What do I mean? So a, each of the bromine atom has three lone pairs of electron. And if two bromine atom prefers to come closer, this electron-electron repulsion will take place. So in order to encounter this, what this molecule does? They create a dipole. For example, charge separation occurs because of the closeness of these two uh, molecules. So what happened? This bromine get little positive charge. Delta positive means little deficiency. Obviously, the adjacent bromine have little extra. So this is balance. Similarly, this is delta plus and this is delta minus. Now, from here, one thing you can clearly see that, okay, this is delta minus, little extra, little electron deficiency. So these have some attractive interaction, which encounters the electron-electron repulsion to some extent and that's the reason that okay bromine molecule can remain close together and actually they are liquid at room temperature by the way very few elements in periodic table are liquid at room temperature now um, so next point so here if you look at this delta plus bromine this one or this one delta plus means you can say slight deficiency of electron that can act as the electrophile and in this case, this pi bond is acting as the nucleophile. Okay, so how the reaction takes place? So here, this delta positive bromine is attract, at, attacked by this alkene. Now, okay, fine. So what will be the product? First, it will be this is this double bond. By the way, I'm considering this part as R. I'm writing here. Now, bromine will come here. As the positive charge goes there, means it is relatively more stable cation. By the way, now actually it is not. Generally we write, but if you want to learn little details, I request you student, please visit. I have already made a dedicated lecture. Now why Br minus? Because this pi bond attacked with its bond pair. So this Br leaves as a minus. Now there are two chances that okay, this Br can attack there and result one to addition, but transfusion. But actually this doesn't happen. This why I am saying? Because you see bromine addition to alkene is anti-addition. Why selectively anti? Because this is not. Actually the intermediate is this one. And how this is formed? So this bromine molecule, this bromine atom has three lone pair. So one of the lone pair attacks there and forms this three member. Since it's a neutral bromine atom, when it attacks, so it get a formal positive charge. That's why this is called as bridge bromonium ion. Okay, I'm saying it's actually positive charge, means deficiency of electron. That's the reason both of these carbons are delta positive or electrophilic. And the next time this bromine attacks from the backside, look at, there's a three member ring. Bromine can attack here from the backside, here from the backside and result anti-addition. Now let's look at what's hap exactly happening here. 
Now here there is a two chance. You can say sir right now Br minus can attack or this oxygen can participate in the form of NGP or neighboring group participation. What happens? So this oxygen will can attack any of the carbon atom but how can I understand where the attack will take place? For that purpose this numbering is very useful 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It is always not compulsory to write the numbers for your understanding I am writing but this counting strategy is very helpful to reduce error. So what happens here in this case student this one of the lone pair actually attacks and it opens up. Now you can say why sir why the attack happens here not the here. Remember if I say relative position so it indicates the ring formation. Six member ring formation is more stable compared to the seven member because of reduction of ring strain. Seven member ring has higher ring strain compared to six member ring. Now again since one six addition so draw a six member ring and position number one put oxygen the attacking atom. Now since the oxygen was a neutral atom I mean OH group it gave its electron density to this carbon adjacent to bromine which is carrying the positive charge. So this oxygen will have a slight deficiency of electron which we designate as positive charge. By the way still one lone pair will remain. Now these will attach to carbon number six and what is the carbon number six it is attached to one methyl group. So let's draw methyl. Again this bromine gone so here there is a CH2Br. So this side CH2Br. Now how can I get the product actually it is not mentioned. So you can expect okay sir oxygen is carrying a positive charge because electronegative atom carrying positive charge is not that much stable and obviously as a counter anion Br minus there I mean this one produce this molecule CH3 CH2 Br. By the way student for your ex MCQ solving if you write in this way you will get marks but in reality it doesn't happen because recall when you add HBr or HI to ether what happened one equivalent of HBr or HI so you get one equivalent of alcohol one equivalent of alkyl bromide but if you take excess all are converted to alkyl halides. That's the thing we have studied. So here this oxygen will remain in the protonated form unless you do workup. And workup means I am talking about alkaline workup because that will consume this HBr. But I will not focus because in this way we got your answer. But here one question which we previously discussed that why this Br didn't attack which was intermolecular reaction. And here this OH attacks. Why? It's NGP. It's neighboring group participation. Why the neighboring group participation got preference over this intermolecular reaction? So which one is more favored between intramolecular versus in intermolecular reaction? Let's learn. Actually intramolecular reaction get preference over intermolecular. Why? Because this intra student intentionally I am pronouncing in such a way that you do not have any confusion. So intramolecular reactions are more favorable compared to corresponding intermolecular counterpart because of proper conformational orientation during the atoms or molecular collision to make a bond. I know you will be confused sir so it's a too long statement. Recall SN2 reaction. In SN2 reaction what do you observe? Backside attack. Why backside attack? Because we have observed okay the nucleophile gives its electron density to the sigma star of carbon leaving group bond. By the way if you have any doubt on this statement I shall upload a, I shall provide a link corresponding video visit. So only backside attack can take result in a SN2 reaction. But if you say okay sir if front side attack happen will it result in a reaction? No there will be no reaction. So that part is deal with proper conformational orientation which is essential for bond formation and in this context I want to mention that three member and five member ring formation is preferred over six member. So that's why you see three member ring formation chance is there formed very easily five member ring formation formed very easily but there is a but if you look at the stability point of view means you may ask sir why then six member ring is formed here this is because six member ring formation is a little less preferred because of conformational orientation but it is more stable 
means I mean if you look at six three membering bond angle nearly 60 degree actually it is not 60 degree but banana bond I'm not going so here 60 degree if you say five membering the bond angle is nearly 107 degree but ideal bond angle for sp3 hybridization should be 109.5 degree and in case of six member ring that at could be attained now because of some steric requirement it can change from case to case basis but sp3 case this 109.5 degree could be attained in the single in the six member ring not in this structure actual structure is this one practice drawing very important otherwise you may draw wrongly so now if you look at here these angle close to this 109.5 so six member ring is more stable because it is associated with lowest ring strength so that is the reason this six member is formed now if you say sir second seven member seven member have some angle strength so that's why this attack did not take place at this position okay now i guess you have understood this part now what is the major product in this reaction obviously this one ch2br this is ch3o say cyclic one six member ring now if you get these question in your exam how can you solve it in less than 30 seconds possible student i know apparently look difficult but possible how so we know that okay oh they are double bond they are so bromine will react with double bond so addition reaction will take place by the way if you look at every case happening now bromine addition how and why now first you should remember one information that these alkene addition proceeds to bridge bromonium ion as intermediate always bridge bromonium bridge chloronium bridge iodonium etc so okay intermediate now after intermediate what can happen addition now just imagine you do not know this you do not have that much idea then how can you solve by the way please study i am giving you tricks doesn't mean that okay i'll not study no please study now what are the tricks here so here bromine dcm mild condition neither temperature nor irradiation nothing given so here bromine attached to this carbon next carbon how what kind of reactivity when alkene is remaining pi bonds are more uh, reactive compared to sigma bond then this ch sigma bond got broken with bromine no radical condition not possible so it's actually a dummy option illogical option if you look at this option d allylic bromination for allylic bromination either h nu or heat or radical condition needed to somehow this is also not possible now this is called student process of elimination in this way you can make your life easier now there is a question okay one to addition versus this ring formation which one will prefer that thing i have already explained so here if you look at this question in the exam all you need to count instantly one two three four five six. okay so if the position of this double bond at three five or six means it will result in a three member five member or six member that ring formation will be preferred okay so here this ngp will take place by this oh so it will be a ring formation if you understand this blindly tick here because no other ring is given okay so but those are very risky read and practice so i believe you have understood this discussion and this is the overall discussion about today's video and you will enjoy my content please help this channel to grow and regarding the any doubt about the logo of my channel i request please read this part so see you in my next video bye bye